What do we do when young people disagree with how church is run? Should we kick them out? Should we consider them rebellious or too skeptical or too pushy to allow them to be a part of the church? Well, here's what my response is. After working in the church for 20 years, I have found that most of the churches in America today want to see more generations involved, like a multi-generational approach. But sadly, what we're seeing is a decrease in generations in churches. And here's one reason why that is, because we don't have a discussion. There are a lot of young people who have grown up in the church and may not agree fully with where the leadership aligns. And here's why, because it's maybe too rigid, because it's too military structure. There are a lot of pastors who've been leading the church for quite some time who are in my opinion, are too prideful to listen to someone half their age. I hope and pray that the church is going to be more inclined to listen to this generation that's younger than them. Because here's the thing, who's going to take over when our time is up? When you look at the Bible, it's about passing the baton. It's about Paul pouring into guys like Timothy to lead the church, to let other guys like Titus and Philemon and other men of God who God used older men to invest in their lives. And you know what? There's a lot of times that you see a strong disagreement between one generation and the next. That doesn't mean that the young generation is disrespectful to the older generation, but they have a different approach to some things. They're not trying to twist the gospel. They're not trying to undermine authority. They're trying to understand what is happening, why we do certain things. So in order for us to take this new generation that is rising up within the church, or some of them are going out there and they're starting different churches because they didn't feel they felt connected to that particular church, here's what I believe we should do. One is if you hold on to ritualism or tradition more than look at how you can get rid of sacred cows in your church in order to reach a new generation of people, I pray that you would do that. Oftentimes, we allow our way of doing church interfere with our relationships with other people. I don't think it's a matter of kicking out the younger generation that have disagreements. I think it's about having a conversation with them and seeing how we can utilize them to be a part of the church. In the end, Church is not just about the stage and about the leadership. It's about the congregation as a whole. That's young and old. So we need to make sure that we don't divide over the essential teachings of the faith, but make sure we don't divide when it comes to disagreements of how we do ministry. Here's what we're finding when you use young people who are very innovative. When you allow them to be a part of the ministry and accommodate them to serve in some capacity, they're bringing new ideas to reach new people that the church maybe decades ago never could. That's the joy of the body of Christ coming together. They're like-minded and they're in one accord. Remember, we are many members but one. So make sure that the younger generation is a part of that process to reach other people to come to your church because the job of the church is to equip the saints for the work of the ministry and there are so many young people who are hungry to be equipped but we have to have those conversations whether we agree with them or not